and welcome to episode 60 of the Full Game Podcast, where we bring you the latest news and our expert opinion on the newest releases in the world of music. I'm Cal. I'm joined by Yanni and Liam over there, excommunicated to the corner. I'm Liam. Nobody puts Liam in the corner. Except me. Hmm. Uh, we're here in the flesh. Yeah. Live in the flesh. Live and direct. Yep. AJ it's, Tracy. Yes, yeah, I have on set, I think. That's the lyric. Um, why? <laughs> it's such a naughty <laughs> word that will get us demonetized, <laughs> which we don't monetize anyway. Um, why are we all together, boys? I don't know. <laughs> everything, uh, everything. Uh, yeah, That's why. So yeah, tonight. Stay, stay tuned for a Fools on Tour next week. Yes, potentially. Maybe. That's a bit pointless, really. This is a pre Fools on Tour. Pre Fools on Tour. Pre drinks. Pre drinks. Pre drinks. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> Cheers, Pink. everyone. Cheers, Liam. everyone. If you're everyone watching this from home, home, get a beer out. Crack it, crack it open. <laughs> yeah, Wednesday morning, 7 o'clock, get a beer out. It won't be 7 o'clock, I'm not getting up to edit it that early. Um, <laughs> What's the story? <laughs> right. Um, hey. oh, oh. Sorry, I didn't know you were. Nice. You've ruined me, Joe. <laughs> James Wrighton, album Jim, I'm still here, Jim will be Jim. released. No, no, need mm-hmm. to show off the beer now. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> uh, Jim, I'm still here. Not, not. Uh, will be released July 8th, and also with you. Who is um, James Wrighton? He is the one third of Claxons. Claxon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's all the that. news. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, we haven't mentioned because this is this is a new story. You've mentioned the word in the flesh, but if you're listening to this and you don't know what that means. Then, what was I say? <laughs> There's the videos YouTube. on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. This is a story of this. the what's the variety. We're on YouTube, probably not right away. No, probably not. Almost certainly not right away because Le- Yanni would have to edit it as I'm editing the audio, and that is yeah, physically impossible. impossible. But if you listen to the this and you want to see us in real life, um, with all the mess that comes with that, um, Liam's little just, granddad tray. Just wait off. Yeah, we might, me and my tray. You'll see the tray if you watch a video. Yeah, just well, wait a day or two. We'll forgive you for not listening to it. You just watch it instead. Yeah. yeah. You know, get the full experience. Yeah. Just, uh, you know, do something else when you want um, to. A little morning. bit of story news, just because um, we've only got one story. I want to add a little bit. Oh, go on. A little more. bit. This, <laughs> spice, this, this morning, um, there were do, big do, 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 YouTube that's accounts that's that got hacked. I don't know if you've noticed any of this. Harry Styles, Michael Jackson, someone on Twitter hacked their YouTube accounts and like uploaded like ridiculous music videos they're not on there I've just double check now they've been removed since but wow. um, there was like on Harry Styles like a rap one with like a 13 year old rapping on Michael Jackson there was like a weird oh, like I dread to think um, <laughs> <laughs> European sort of, of children rapping. beat thing um, but yeah they've since been removed but I just thought spice it up um, hey, what, did we, what did we just hear from our friends over at Courting Corporation no point, just a song the song will be out tonight D- ignore that. Ignore it. Ignore that. Next so week we'll cover Courtney's new track, Tennis, but there's no point. Okay. You all have heard it, maybe. We're going to move on. Please. So it's going to get pretty hot under the collar because we're going to... Hot off the press. <laughs> Japanese breakfast. Come on, skinny love. Bonnie Vere. Bonnie Vere. To the cover. Uh, tell me about it, boys, because I've not listened to it. Um, you haven't? No. You I, like I did house. say, uh, yeah, breakfast, I said that it wasn't really worth listening to, because it's exactly how I imagined it would sound. Mm. It was nice. It was very pleasant. I enjoyed my time with it. It didn't inspire me. I um, I think it was a very good cover. Uh, very true to the original, in a sense. 100%. But also, no, but there was, it, it was different. It wasn't as different as Birdie's version. Yeah. It was recognisable. As you know, kind of a direct link from the Bonivier version, as opposed to the Berde. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, I like the difference in instrumentation, difference in the vocal delivery and stuff. I thought it was a really good cover, really nice. I've been listening to a lot of it. Well, yeah, <laughs> lately. Um, you got a record, didn't you? I did. Yeah. Which one? Twenty-two million. I uh, know about Bonivier. Bonivier. The reissue. We've uh, Bonivier squared. <laughs> We've not discussed this enough on the podcast. 33 God. Oh. 
one of the best songs I've ever heard. Unbelievable song. Unbelievable song. 32 more than uh, is necessary, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. For you, Cal, as our token religious boy. And I think, uh, you know, 66 less than the uh, Hindus, believe me. Oh, they have 167. Liam, um, religious well, accuracy, knowledge. that's what we're all about here on the Bulls and Hill podcast. Um, uh, speaking of Liam. Yes, me. Uh, Kevin Morby is back. That's Liam's favourite mm-hmm. artist, as we all well know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Rock is. Bottom. Can, can you believe it? Ba, ba. It's another good song, isn't it? It's another good one. Ba, I, um, ba. I said it was uh, not as good as the last track, but better than all the others I've heard. <laughs> that was based on my one listen where I didn't really listen to it. Listen to it in the car. Fucking rips Norton. Really like it. Can't wait for this album, <laughs> and I am very surprised. Yeah, it's a bit of it's it's a it's, it's a good bop. It's got a good it's got a good drive to it. Rock bottom, Rock bottom. more like sky yeah. high. Sky. <laughs> I'm sky high. Bad bad. Uh, Yanni, you, do you care to elaborate before we move to the resident Morby man? Elaborate or not? Uh, no, no, no. I've uh, yes. Elaboration is complete. Is Morbius, monthbius, as a Mr. Sunny movie said. Mm. Monthbius. The whisper said to me. I'm just coughing directly at you. I don't want the it's very hot in this house. Are you vulnerable? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Take your jacket off. Yeah. Maybe that would help. Oh, oh, heavy, 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 the, heavy denim jacket. You've got to keep the shoulder pads on. There is a level mm. of heat in this uh, room. It's that is slightly unbearable. Uh, Continuity. Have you got it any more facts to tell us about this Morby song or not? Kevin Morby um, recently celebrated his 36th birthday. Wow. I'm guessing 36. It might have been 34. It was somewhere what about in the middle. Accur- accuracy. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 um, actually, I've got something to say. He's just started a uh, like a blog, essentially. Is it 2003? Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, where he's talking about some of the songs and he's written about them, and he was writing about uh, this is a photograph, the last song. Yeah. And he was just going into the conversation about his his dad and kind of what inspired the song. It was it was a good read. It's worth looking if you. I think it's on Substack. I think it's a website. But um, yeah. And there's like a photograph of his dad that is kind of the song's based on that was taken when he was the age that Kevin Morby just became. So it's interesting to see the difference. But um, oh. Hey, Liam. Hey, hey, hey Callum. Your mum. Hey! It's <laughs> got you there, mate. Your pants are right down. <laughs> Not bad. Wait. <laughs> Wet leg, we're back. It feels like all they're doing is releasing singles off this album. We're not going to get a all chance them. to l- listen to this album without it already being released before it comes it's out. It's out on Friday. It's out on Friday. Oh, my God. It is out on Friday, isn't it? That was Bloody would have been a weird lie. Um, I like this song. Uh, oh not dear. as much as previous ones. Um, I heard it live when I went to see them. Oh, or, get or you. when they supported yeah. Inhaler. And I can't believe that the longest and loudest scream is actually part of the song and it's not something they just did live that was awful well you know and it wasn't really that long or loud so i'm not very impressed get over it i um um, didn't really care for this song at all there was nothing engaging about it from the beginning i've mentioned this before they remind me of pompoko um vocally and in this song she particularly sounds like the singer from pompoko a lot kind of very very high register um but the song was just boring. Yeah. Genuinely, I actually cancelled my pre-order of this album. Well, so did I. It was a Wait. rough trade pre-order, so it doesn't really have much I, I did that too, but... and then pre-ordered it on Banquet because it was cheaper. I mean, cancelled that. Got, one. No, me and Karis got in halves. So. Oh, that's nice. That is, yeah. Yeah. Gonna go halves. That's good to go halves with me. That doesn't really work. We don't. No, because I should get a full album. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna bag you the A side. Quick one. I'll just take the insert. <laughs> um. <laughs> Harry Styles, another one I pre-ordered, has returned. Oh. I need to pre-order it um, with the song "As It Was." Honestly, I was disappointed by the song. It was a song. I saw this on Twitter. If this was just like your typical indie band, because it sounds very much like an indie rock kind of like song, you'd think, "Oh, this is very middle." Um, sounds like a bit of a boring gang of youths without any of the emotion. The 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 music bit like the the same kind lead. of rhythm I yeah well there's something about it that was gang easy we've yeah. established uh, well everyone on Twitter who follows sports team has established that the uh, little drum beat is essentially Margate yeah, yeah um, my favorite part of the song was the middle eight bit where he's talking fast about I don't yeah. know so, da, 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 yeah 
that bit. The rest of it, just very disappointed. Underwhelmed. I was saying to Mole that I'm glad there's still like artists out there like Adele and Harry Styles where it seems like a big thing when they release something because mm-hmm. it kind of feels special. Even though I'm like, yep. not really mad on either yeah. of them. I like them, but I'm not mad on them. It's still nice that there's that kind of weight to a musical yeah. release this yeah. in this modern age. Mm-hmm. If you are going to pre-order the album I, and you want the limited edition yellow one, I recommend getting on that quick because it sold out on Banquet very fast. Khan's got a few copies available. DM him directly. <laughs> no, no, I've only got Official one. Re- Rough retail. trade. <laughs> um, I thought this was... I saw a lot on Twitter about people saying this was a good song. People that are you know, maybe more on the indie side of music. Uh, and then I was then disappointed with actually listening to the song. But I, thought it was, I still think it was all right. I liked the little fast speaking part as well. That little middle eight part. Mm-hmm. I like um, the fact generally. that it's so short. Because it is samey. I was cooking the other day. Yeah, it couldn't be any longer, otherwise it would just be awful. I was cooking the other day and I asked Karis to put some music on. And she was like, oh, I've not heard this yet. Uh, and we listened to it about seven times in a row. She doesn't sound like that. Yeah, that's oh. good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. that and we were just talking, so it had been on about seven times in the background. Okay. I wasn't dying for it to be turned off because it is so short. But yeah, it's samey. Same. I like it though. I just want to talk about keeping things the same. Here. Oh, come on. Come on. Uh, we haven't turned the twinkly lights on. Oh, I'm not, I, I was thinking we did that ago. last time. It is probably going to be a bit dark. Yeah, but we're just going to have to Oi. deal with it because it's happening in mid video. Let there be You've light. Fuck the video up. Alexa, turn listen off to the, listen to the. Uh... Okay. <laughs> he's in, oh, he's in Blink Oh, he's fucking you knobhead. Alexa, turn on the lamp. Alexa, do your fucking job. There we go. So apologies if that you're listening crazy. to this out loud and you have an Alexa in your room. Uh, I'm not apologising. Uh, Alexa, buy everything on our on Amazon wish list <laughs> now. <laughs> no, never mind. Crush we're, puppies. We're not listening, eh? Sorry, Cal, you have to step out now, mate. You can't say that. I'm not. <laughs> well, also, I didn't know you <laughs> I'm not. Well, I'm not. <laughs> Crush puppies. We're moving on. The song is called Why. Uh, my thoughts exactly. Uh, no, that's a lie. I didn't really listen to it when it was on in the car before. Yeah. So I can't really comment on it. It sounded pretty sort of like crushed and puppy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's funny thoughts. I liked it the first time I heard it. Um, but it didn't really resonate with me. Although I did like the vocals and then we just listened to it in the car just then and didn't care for it at all. Yeah, I'm similar but slightly different. I guess both of you <laughs> had a mix of both <laughs> yeah, I listened to it the first time and thought, this sounds all right. Um, but I need to listen to it again. And then the second time I listened to it, uh, it wasn't the right environment uh, outside uh, in the petrol station. <laughs> uh, 70 quid, was it, Yanni? It cost me £71 to pounds for my car. Yes. You know, <laughs> Boris, I hope you listen to this. Sort this shit this out. Is this is Thatcher's This is the most, it, it? this is the biggest this is a, a real pandemic. It's the biggest issue we've had <laughs> this this is a real pandemic. for decades. There's been, you know, nothing else. It's all been pretty smooth sailing for the last 40 years. As my dad always says, remember when the, there was there was a protest about when it went to 125? Look at it now. Since then. Look at it now. I remember being sub a pound. Yeah, I was... 99, height of 98. COVID. Height of COVID. Those were the days. 99, 98. That's yeah. expensive. 99 pounds a litre. <laughs> oh, Do you know in Australia, off topic slightly, Oh, it was like no, you fucking, moved there. It was a dollar, a, like a liter or something like that, which would have been like 50, 60 pence at the time. Madness. Insane. In Insane. fairness, it in is like time. 60 miles between neighbors in it's Australia. True, yeah. yeah. So we drove two hours to the nearest town. That's mental. Oh, mate. The amount of times you're moving that microphone. It is pissing me off. Yeah, it's for the, and you're holding the you lead. Know, 3D, which is, yeah, the worst part to hold. 3D audio. That's all right. I'm monitoring the numbers. Mm, okay. Um, super organism. Feet. Let's run off one at a time. Liam. Steve Malcolmish. Dylan Cartledge. I don't know why I'm passing the microphone. It's <laughs> raining. It's pouring. I this old snoring. song is boring. <laughs> oh, yeah. I you hated did. everything about this. Everything. Yeah, it made me sick. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad C-sick. you're not sick. Yeah, sick. It got, yeah, it got to Stephen's part, and I was like, what the fuck is going on? When mm. it started, you did the, it's raining today. I thought, <laughs> okay, this seems all right. <laughs> I'm into this, and then yeah, it didn't. No, it, it didn't hold up. It Very didn't fast. Hold up at all. Shit. I was hoping it would feel like his stuff when he did Groove Denied. Yeah. Uh, which kind of you should listen to. Um, 
because not only does it feature some of his best songs ever, um, Ocean of Revenge. Um, Come get me. Hmm? Come get me. Come get me. Boss of right. Um, it also features some weird. Uh, in, uh, weird experimental um, electronic music mm. um, by Steve Marcus, which mm. is very, is, you know, questionable mm. is the right word to use there. Mm. Uh, I was hoping mm. that this would be uh, on that kind of wavelength. Uh, it wasn't. Just questionable. Just questionable. questionable yeah. Yeah. I'm not excited. Liam Gallagher Hello. has returned. Oh. Hello, Liam. Come on, you now. Sorry. I thought you'd say you were going to say Liam Godfrey then, but I got confused. No, I'd never call you by your full name. Uh, you don't deserve it. I um, didn't like this song. This is boring. This yeah. Very boring, very flat. Yep. It didn't do anything flat. for me. No. I like the female vocals. Uh, is I this don't a, is that a different I don't song? Them. Is that a different <laughs> song? You like the what? <laughs> the, is there female vocals in this song? In like the mid late or something? I don't maybe know. I miss. Maybe I didn't. I'm maybe thinking of a different song. But there was a part of it I thought. Any fucking fucking fusses. <laughs> there was a part of it that I thought, yeah, this you know, nice touch. But the song, just in general, I I have to admit something. I listened to all these songs in mono by accident. Oh my god! <laughs> it's, it's a recurring theme. I can explain why, but I'm not going to. Um, and that may be help, but I am listening to it now. But I am only listening to it in one earphone. Um. <laughs> The full experience. <laughs> but I'm still not enjoying it. As he intended. There was, the, there was a part of this song anyway that I thought was all right, but in general, flat, like I've said. Four yeah, times. well, I quite like the first track of this album, which I know you two didn't. You're wrong. Well, this is that was much better than this. <laughs> didn't take much, but yeah, I it think, was. I don't know if it was. <laughs> I would great. say it was, but um, this one was just boring. Alfie Templeman. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, Alfie. Young yeah. Elf. Alfie, yeah. Leaving today. This song... It's good. We've met, we listened to it in the car on the way here. We all said the same thing. It didn't sound as generic as most of Alfie Templeman's regular stuff. It sounded a little bit like it could have been. We would like to preface we like Aerial Days. It's a superstar we like Aerial Days. Right it now. could have been, as Liam said, one of the more <laughs> normal songs. One of the songs. worst Aerial Days tunes. Well, one of the more normal no, Aerial pop, Days songs. There was one Poppy popular ones. song, and I thought it kind of seemed like that. Um, aerial Days. I liked it. I thought I got a bit of Pond vibes. <laughs> you did. And I mentioned Didn't Nick Albrook Gurning. You did? Yeah. yeah it he do. Did. He do. And then he we does. mentioned the traffic that was slightly better than normal, but still not great uh, on the A57 North Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Or the A58. Toward entry. Um, um, mini entry. Where? But yeah, this is a, you know, it's got a good, it's a good song. It do, it, you're that right, it doesn't right. feel as, as kind of poppy, generic, generic poppy <laughs> as this normal stuff. It's a good middle ground. It's a good middle ground. Good like funky it. pop tune. James. You know what I just realised before we move oh, on. Oh, I'm going to punch you. You're going to say James? Yeah, yeah. James Ryan. Oh, I've oh shit. Oh, oh I've well, you could have you could have got away with that. Oh, fucker. He's ruined it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm not drinking Guinness. Who cares? No one, no one cares. No one strength. cares. No. The guy's used to be <laughs> no. drinking the black stuff. <laughs> <laughs> He's drinking piss this week. I'm drinking piss. Danish piss. I like this. Danish piss, piss no. I do like yeah. piss. <laughs> <laughs> Crack on, Jan. Your laughs are the best. You yeah, know that. Thank you. Yeah. Come on. Uh, James Wrighton. Right on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's back with a song. Pause. Out Tuesday. Why is that in brackets? Because it's Tuesday. And it was That's why it wasn't on my Fucking playlist. Hell. And I forgot to add it on Tuesday. Um, Cal, what do, we're going to say this in unison. Sounds, Sounds very, very much, much like, like Shangri-La Prince. Stud- P- Prince. Prince. Not very much like Prince. It does. A bad I Prince. I enjoyed it, but it was so Prince, it was painful, really. Mm, painful Prince. 1999, to be specific. <laughs> okay. okay. Do you not agree in your one no, earphone? No, 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 I'm... I'm, you put the effort I, into this I'm podcast, Liam, and you're here. confusing conversations here, but we'll crack on and we'll talk in the break. No, talk now. No, we'll talk in the break. Um, next gonna, song, not allowed TV in, Priest. TV Priest. Song, What's that called, Liam? Bury Go me on. in my boots. Nope. <laughs> bury me in my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> it just, Isn't this uh, one of your favourite songs of the week as well? Do you know what? Fucking love this song. Hey, he loves it so much, he knows the name without fault. No, it was a joke. Bury me in my boots. Sounds funny. Like okay. pirate, it sounded beats. really funny, that mate. Um, <laughs> but no, genuinely, really love the song. It's good, isn't it? It's got a similar idol um, vibe. No, it's got yep. a similar feel for me as um, 
not necessarily the actual song, but the way it, I <laughs> accepted it into my life. <laughs> do you to the point? No. Right? <laughs> the gig, do you remember the song <laughs> Gold City by Ice Age? Yes. That I became Joker. very obsessed, obsessed with, by. Yeah. Uh, I've re- there's something, <laughs> something about the melody or something on that song that really like I just enjoy so much, and this hits the same spot. And I realised you need the one. <laughs> He's done it. Go ahead, lad. He's, He's done, done it. I want to get. You want to get me one? Oh, have you finished by the time I come back? You want to get me one? Um, there's Please something about one. it, and and what's it? What's up? I want one. Not of me. Carlsberg. Go on, yeah, I'll have one more then, mate. Um, Elsner, baby. The and it does it does have a similar um like just dirtiness to it. Do you know what I'm saying, Jan? There's, yeah, there's yeah. grunge to it. There's yeah, a good, yeah. but like that guitar line that comes in is very like fugazi, like very dirty kind of. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Jan! Do you agree with that comment, Jan? Do you ever listen to Carlsberg? Do you ever listen to fugazi? Did you get a I pack of five? One, I brought one, a little baby one. Oh, I would have to split. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I'm Sean. Have you listened to Fugazi It's not warmer before, yeah? since it's been in your fridge. Uh, yes, but I can't really remember. Okay, great. Everyone listen at home? You know what I'm saying. I thought this was a bit idols times do nothing. The vocal melody was a bit do nothing for me. I really like this, though. I would I also agree. It's probably my favourite song of the week that we've listened to. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, mate. Couldn't oh. agree. It's Bob on it. Honestly, I've listened to it a lot. If I had to do one thing with my mouth... Uh, uh, smile. <laughs> The oh, Smile, yeah. a back. Um, Panavision is the name of the song. Now, if you watch Peaky Blinders, like me, you might have recognised this song. I don't. Because nope. um, <laughs> Callum played this in the car on the way to pick up Ian. Because yeah. um, <laughs> you hadn't listened to it yet. Present. Oh, well, I have. Like, without realising. Wow, well, fuck. Bam, exactly. Shit. So, actually, I'm on board with it. Um, and and with yeah. this from Peaky Blinders? Yes. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. It's very fitting. It feels it? right. It's yeah. very good. It is. It's, it's a good song. Not Peaky Blind, it's the song. Peaky Blind is also good. We, we've um, only covered one of the other Smile songs, and now have you enjoy interested it. in it. No, but, but this... This one was good, I guess. And should we listen to Radiohead? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah, should. I think, yeah. I but think we've, got, we've got a uh, classic, potentially, haven't I we? I think we do, yeah. Okay, computer, yeah. See, I, the um, biggest one. I really enjoy Idiotech. Liam, would you say that in a French yeah. accent, purely you for the vibes? Yeah. Yeah, Le- yeah. Idiotech? Oh, fuck it. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, that's a great tune. Two plus two equals five. Oh, I love that tune. Slapper. <laughs> oh, it's 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 in May, twenty first of May. <laughs> not far away. <laughs> Bloody not far hell! Away. Um, no way. May. But yeah, no. no this is probably this is um up there with uh, a good what? song. Bury me in my boots for song of the week. That's funny, um, that mate. Thank you. I, yeah. <laughs> I thought of it all myself. <laughs> um, yeah. Tom's vocals just. Pretty haunting, aren't they? Delicate. But the only sweet. the only Radiohead song that I is, I was going to say the only one I've heard is absolutely Creep. not true. No, is um, talk show host from Romeo and Juliet. Romeo plus Juliet. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Baz You know talk show host. Boom, 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 and his the vocals in that song. Ah, Penash. <laughs> <laughs> is it is it Barry the Witch? Is that, that, that what song it's is fantastic. Yeah, I really like that song. Yeah, that's weird. I really like that song. Uh, Ezra Furman. Released so the, the another. Oh, please be quiet now. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, as referring with the song "Book of Our Names." This was a nice track. Yeah, yeah. I take it one of the three new songs by Ezra. I don't actually know. I think I so. remember. I don't remember it. I think so. I didn't remember it either, but I, I assume so. I enjoyed it. I, I liked enjoy it. it as much My as only as... problem, as usual, is the vocals. I think let it down. If it had better vocals, I think I would have really, really liked it. But I just really like But it. at some point, man, you've got to realise this is Ezra Firm, this is how she sings, this is how it's going to be. Just get yeah. better, Ezra. You know what I mean? Oh, fuck. Wow. Uh, it wasn't but, as good as Point Me Towards the Real. Yeah, it's a slightly different vibe. Motherfuckers. The l- lyrics are really good. They're very, like, kind of thought provoking, very yeah. uh, emotional. I was like, I'm giving all these hand movements, and there's more words that should be coming out that aren't. Fill them in yourself. Great review, Liam. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it was good, though. I like the track. Yeah, I'm song. excited for a full release, please, Ezra. Absolutely. Give it to me, Ezra. Foles, the last one of our singles that we're covering. Let's finish on a high note, eh? Hey, looking high. <laughs> this <Crap>. is boring. <laughs> Why is it so... 
I'm glad that you agree. I yeah, listened to this. Exactly. I'm so bored about I don't know everything. What's going on, I don't. I haven't liked one of these new albums. The best part of this song the was the last of ten seconds of it. Yeah, there was. It, you said it in the car. There seemed to be something exciting happening, and then it ended. Yeah. Um, I couldn't decipher one lyric that was sung by Gannis <laughs> in the yeah, song. Yeah, I was so, didn't sound like him either. No, <laughs> didn't enjoy it. It's, it's poor. Yeah, very poor. weird. I don't. I don't think I remember not liking two a. Oh, two yeah, a.m. is yeah. all right. Two a.m. is okay. Two a.m. and wake me up. They're all right, but they're wake not, me up. Wait, no, they're not good. Not. The Foles are a good band. Yeah, two a.m. is the best good. one so far, but this looking high, boring. Yeah, so boring, boring lackluster, and just shit. It's fucking shit. It's the last I, got sp- I got speared at one of your gigs, and this is what you've become. Saw it out. I'm listening to 2am right now, and that little guitar line, that... Ding, doo, doo, doo. It's great. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Great. I feel like I'm there. Yeah. Um, that's it. I'll join the band. We're going to move on to the next section. No, we're not. That's oh. the end of the podcast. No, we've got... <laughs> no. No, no. That is the end of the podcast. No, it's not. You have me genuinely like, confused. <laughs> Sorry, Callum. Callum. No, we do have... No, no, uh, we don't. Else. We have a very dull spotlight for you uh, in the it's, section. We have changed that bulb. Album Spotlight. Red Hot Chili Peppers are back. It's boring. Can I We're... go for a wee now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Pointless. Um... Unlimited Love is the name of the album. If you just want a sentence. Limited enjoyment. So underwhelming. <laughs> going out like a wet <laughs> fart. Oh, gosh. Well, gosh. my overall thoughts were it was fine. Far too long. Don't think this did justice to the hype that Frusciante's no. return no. promised. No. Waste of Frusciante. Waste of Frusciante. But I'll be honest. He was the best you say waste of Frusciante is over to the rest of the band's fault, I think he didn't put there just wasn't enough of him in the songs. No. Like he didn't, no. he the didn't only, give anything exciting to a lot of these songs. The only thing that remotely impressed me was the bass. Yeah. And that still wasn't up to normal standards. No, you're right. An aquatic mouth dance. Uh, we'll go for this. Uh, are we going to go for one by one? No. Yeah, I it. think we should. should aquatic we? mouth I've dance is a great I've, bass line. I've got no notes on no any right. individual songs. Very funky bass line, aquatic mouth dance. And a good vibe. Is it called Mouth song? Dance? I've got Aquatic Mouth Piece written down. <laughs> <laughs> dance. There's no, the uh, track that's just, that's, it. Oh, it's yeah. not just like a snorkel. No, I saw it was dance. It's One hour snorkel, thirteen. It's not a quite a piece. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you decide. Um, <laughs> the only song that really stood out to me um, was "Here Ever After." I really enjoyed "Here Ever After." Here Ever After. I can't remember where. I thought it was a pretty good song. The second song. There was some kind mm. of like uh, darker, slightly grungier guitar tones and works from uh, Frosan <laughs> <laughs> Well, that one was the only one that kind of invoked any bit of nostalgia of what Red Hot Chili Peppers yeah. were. Yeah. Um, that what didn't feel like they were purposely doing it. And it, but it was weird because it felt like Stadium Arcade. It wasn't even mm. that That's still old. a long time ago now. Yeah, well, 20, so 20 something fourteen years ago. years ago. Sorry. It was 2006, wasn't it? Was that 14 years? No, it was... No, 16 years. 2007, right? Oh, uh, no, you're right, it was, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah by the way, it was 2002, 2006. wasn't it? 2006. By the way, it was 2002. <laughs> That's what I was just thinking. It's definitely 2006. Are we covering, by the way, in a classic? Oh, we should be. It was yeah, 2006, we are. you're right. I'm, I've said it four times, I know. So, like, but even that is, you know, it's relatively recent Red Hot Chili... Well, I guess it's not. Jesus it's Christ, not. It's not. A long That's about five time, albums ago. They've been around, like, 40 years. Just, we just want you to know the gist of this is that the album's shit. Um, yeah, by the way, 9th of July. I'm looking forward to that. Yes, I am. The best album. Spoilers. The it, best Chili It's fair album. play, though. That was about 25 years into their... No, 20 years into their years. life as a band. That's impressive. That's their yeah, best album. Well, they, they definitely had a... There's a peak there. There's, oh, I'm not denying There's, that. you know... Peaks and troughs. Blood sugar. John's return and then John's departure. And yeah. Then John's return... Well, it's no because I'm with you. The al- the album before yeah. um, the last yeah. one, the getaway, yeah, the one with Adventures of Rain Dance Maggie and shit. Yeah, the first Klinkhoffer album, Klinkhoffer. Is that this first one? Yeah, yeah. 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 The only, only two. two. Only two. I'm with you. Solid album, underrated. I've listened to it a few times. No, honestly, it is. You've got Adventures of Rain Dance Maggie. You've got um, look around. Um, look Brendan's around. death song. Look around. You've got. Other ones. <laughs> <I can't>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a solid album. The Getaway, boring. 
But also, there's definitely a difference between the Getaway and this album. You can tell the Freshante difference, but it's not the same Freshante as we have previously. No. If anything, I actually prefer the Getaway to this album. I prefer that different direction they were going in mm. to kind of semi going back to what they used to do, but not really adding anything different. They, yeah. they they kind of they get away from memory because I haven't listened to it in a, a while. Were kind of quite anthemic songs. Yeah, which this just doesn't feel like that at there's all. There's no there, there's no there's no rises anywhere. No, it's all no. very one note as you Definitely. say, very monotone, <laughs> very Liam Gallagher. <laughs> This is your Look at I'm it. taking. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. No, you're right though. You're absolutely right. There's like a few um, songs. There's a few parts. I remember the like um, White Braids and Pillow Chair. That's another song that I remember listening to. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, that's the best you get. Le- uh, the Heavy Wing. There's quite a lot yeah, of Freshante no, vocals on that one. I they agree. Really I really like that. And then Tangelo was just a pointless ender. I like I like the musical aspect of it. Thought it was a nice song, but yeah. It didn't need to be seventeen songs long. It did for not. sure, um, but I don't know which ones to cut because they are all oh, most of them pretty equal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, to be fair, not really bad. I didn't come out of listening to this whole album disliking any of them as much as I did when mm-hmm. I heard them as singles. Yeah, which take from that what you will, but um, I don't love any of the tracks. No, yeah. I, maybe I'm a couple of them would go on. I'm yeah. deleting this album from my. This is a very hot chili peppers album. I think I'm gonna do one more run through. So suck it, chili peppers. I'm gonna do one more run through, and it's gonna be a skip through run through, just to see if there's anything. My regular that listening that. <laughs> just to see if there's anything that needs to go in in the big playlist. You know what I mean? Because I think maybe one or two here. I can throw a quite like mouth in there. It's got a good bass line. Here, ever after. Mouth Um, but I'm I might come away from that with no songs being added to the playlist. Probably here, Probably. Ever, here, ever after. It was all right. Yeah, some that the, was my favorite, I think. Some of those slightly like grungier mm. guitar parts from Freshante were quite interesting because that was quite different. That's not something we've ever seen really before. Uh, well, here and there, by the way, I guess it's got some bits that are kind of. One thing I would like to say is, rougher. but this is hey. this is please. Oh. A lot of the lyrics in the past have been a bit questionable. <laughs> yeah, this is the most questionable <laughs> yeah. I think they've ever been. Yeah. yeah. Why were we? Why was the whole song about great apes? Is that a metaphor of something that I've missed? Or are they it genuinely does. singing about <laughs> great apes? We are the great apes. <laughs> they are the great apes. Um, I mean, yeah, I, sh- I was just very disappointed. Yeah. I was so hyped for John to be back. And although, oh, look at that, it's moving. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I d- although I do feel like my most enjoyed parts of this album were the Frusciante parts, I just think, like, how can there not be a song that I've come away from this and thought, Oh, I like this one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I genuinely can't believe Red Hot Chili Peppers released an album with the best members attached. Yeah, it's and a peak Chili Peppers. There's not... I don't want to listen to any of these songs. Yeah. And it's crazy well, considering for Sean I thought I'm going to do it. For Sean A, still, like, you know, um, creatively... He's in a he's bit a, of a... No, no, I mean, that Meyer album is fantastic. It was great, man. It was very different to this. Is that the, the weird technical? Yeah, the one. Technical. 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 Life and technical I part that. two. That's one of the first things we reviewed on. It was. Check it, check it back. Check it out. Um, check it out. You know, he's not lost it. Yeah. But maybe he has in, in a guitar sense. Uh, you know, it wasn't no, bad. No, I don't feel but like he, he did. just didn't come ripping with anything. There's nothing like... It depends what you've, what you've got to work with. I don't know how their musical sort of journey works when they're making songs, but like... They only, there's only three, besides Anthony's voice, three musical elements normally. Mm-hmm. There, was a, there was a couple of horn sections, wasn't there, that they yeah. added in? Yeah, but, there's um, one song with a lot of horn that was pretty good. Um, that might like, have been here. I don't know how it starts off, because if it starts off with just John on guitar, then yeah, it, it, he's not done very well, but he, you don't know how it goes, do you? I did think some of the drums yeah. were actually all right. But, I've noticed the drums more in this album than I've noticed in other songs, because normally they're just a bit straight. But there were a bit more times where there was a bit more going on with drums. Yeah, there were some interesting grooves through the album, for sure. Like, you know, drums and bass and what have you. Um, but they just never really amounted to much. I think that's the issue. Mm. The, when this album finished for me, when I listened to it today, um, the next song that kind of came on automatically was Scar Tissue. Yeah, and when that guitar wow. comes into that song, mm. the, it's very, like, it's a, you know, what's the word I'm for? It's iconic. And it's very, it's very inventive. It's very original. 
it's just none of that. There's just none of it. There's none of that peak for Shantae on this album. No. Um, Flea's got some good parts. Nothing groundbreaking. No. Anthony's Anthony, and you know, I didn't really notice what Charles oh, was doing. Was, I can't remember what song it was, but there was a part where like his vocals, and I, I'd swear it wasn't my headphones. It happened like every time at the same sort of part of the what he was saying it, but it kept on being like really distorted, as if like there was a loop coming out of the mic. And I was like, this is really bad. Mm. That it sounds like this. Um, and I don't know whether it was some kind of weird auto tune thing because he's not the best singer in the world, um, or it was the like mastering thing because I saw Flea post online that, that like it was mastered to tape, and I don't know whether I saw that yeah. it, the tape has done some weird effect because the the levels were too high or whatever. But I, it's shit that I'm telling you this, and I don't know what the song was. But um, Metaphor for the sure, album, mate. eh? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Should we give so it a rate? we're going to rate yeah, it right it now. Callum, Callum, what would you uh, rate this as a number? Come on. Oh. Four. Mm, I would go back and watch a video to this to see Calm's face <laughs> enjoying that, uh, that internal what a deliberation. debate. Ian? I'm giving it a six. Wow. Given, no, I'll explain that. And I feel like... Please do. Five... By definition, is bang average, correct? Are you telling me this is better than my average? Five also seems harsh. No, it doesn't. Okay, five. I'm gonna, yeah, you're right. Good. You probably want you to decide. It's five. It's, it's a bit bang of heroin average. for you to try here, mate. What? Fucking peer pressure over there. <laughs> Jesus and no, Christ. I think, no, you think you're right. It's bang average. I'll drug to bring it up for the red hot chili peppers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also going to give it a five. <laughs> um. Great. Don't do drugs unless oh, you want to. No, no, unless it, unless, unless you free, want to, obviously, and, you then know, do what you want. Environment. Yeah. You having a good time? If they're free, why would you turn them down? You know, and you know, of course, anything that's grown naturally is uh, God's gift. God's gift. Talking of God's gift, averages. Me? Oh, you, you come fuck's to me. Sake. I tried, what's the James. What's the mode? The mode is five. The median. It's five. The mean. Um. Four point three. Four point two. Four point six. Uh, and the range <laughs> savages oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that was horrible oh. that was so that bad was, there's one in French oh. <laughs> <laughs> there's just a lot of there's a lot of throat in that yeah yeah, yeah. 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 recognition of I know there is the throat goat that is <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Godfrey <laughs> uh, <laughs> talking of God's gift um, we've got a, another section that we rarely do what's that called unsigned Sealed. Delivered. I'm yours. Oh. Idiot. Can I go for a piss before this? No. I'm yours. We are here. James Burt is the name. AC songs are the game. Sing that song. <laughs> I'm not asking you. <laughs> what? <laughs> I totally was ordering you to sing it. Now, um, did you mention James? <laughs> Oh my god! So we're here in unsigned seal delivered. Our, f- our friend of the podcast, James Burt, yes, is here. With with what's the song, song. Liam? Sing that song. That's Thank song. you. That, that song. sounds like an Adam Deck segment. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, we, I think James was. Oh, I'm so sorry for these hiccups. <laughs> James, oh. we could, we could. One James of his last was songs. the first unsigned yeah. we ever had. He was possibly. With, uh, was it Heartbreak High? We covered. I think. Yep. Sounds like the right thing to say. Well, he has had a year off, hasn't he, Liam? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we let him explain what this song is about? Do you know what, Yanni? Good. <laughs> Great. Live idea. from Platform 2. <laughs> Nine and three quarters. <laughs> Here you go, James. Hey, guys. I hope all of you are well. Massive fan of the podcast, and thanks for having me on last year. Um, I do apologise if the audio is a bit crap. I'm just recording a little message from the train station, so there you go. Anyway, so my latest single is called Sing That Song. Uh, It's actually one of my older songs, but I've just been waiting for that right time to release it. So this song is probably the most 80s synth pop sounding. Um, So I've been quite sneaky, really, with uh, making my music gradually more 80s, just so it's not too much of an intense jump. Um, but I've had a year off since the last single, so I've had a lot of time to uh, reflect on my vision for my music and where I want it to uh, to end up. So yeah, I'm always trying to grow and enhance my sound, 
But yeah, that's it really. It's a really special song to me, uh, recorded from home. I also collaborated with a synthwave producer called Yoru and a really cool guitar player called Dimmy K. And uh, yeah, that's it guys. Go listen, it's out on April the 8th. Cheers guys. So I think he explained it well himself there. About the he covered track. the whole thing. Um, very 80s. It is, it's very Extreme 80s. 80s. Right. The vibe is right. The vibe is right. Is the price right? Who knows? How much are you charging, Come on James? down and find out. The song's not out yet. It's out uh, April. Where's it out? April 8th. He said it. He so said it on the recording. Probably. That is in two days if you're listening on release date. If it comes One out day on if you're date. listening on Thursday. Oh. Out today if you're listening on Friday. And if you're... Past Minus that. six out, weeks so. if you're listening in June. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so right. James hey, mate, Burt hey, is the name. Sing that song is also <laughs> the <laughs> name. <laughs> oh, sorry, James. You know You've waited three weeks for this, and this is what we've given you. Yeah, Spoilers. We're very, we're uh, James is 23 years old, same age as young Yanni over here. Uh, and he's got released so, music. So, <laughs> Yanni, what so, have you so got? Have <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we haven't covered your music, so that says something. <laughs> we, we are. are we covered soon. We haven't covered the We'll have our own set. set anyway, um, uh, James, thank you for sending in. Thank you for your support. Um, we all enjoyed the track. Very we 80s. Did. We did enjoy the track. We did enjoy the track. Thank um, you. Very are. 80s sounds like, uh, you know, it, it, it's just a comment, but, it, you know, it's a compliment. It, oh, that's it, what you wanted. It very much fitted, yeah. fits within that. Um, yeah. If that's decade. what you're going for, you've done it well. You've actually so, nailed it, to be fair. Voice is great as well. Yes, yeah, voice fantastic. Nice, nice guy. I always enjoy having James messages. And he's got good. Um, he's got good speaking voice as well, as you'll hear from the voice. Yes. Quality, shit quality, around, shit quality though. Around right. twenty seconds <laughs> live from the platform. Uh, Liam, Mariam, uh, well, thanks thank you for listening to this podcast. Uh, stick thank around. You for sending the song in, James. Thank you. Yes. Hope the release goes well. Yes. Send the um, stick around because that'll be a classic. Potentially, if we can get it recorded in the next fifteen minutes. Um, <laughs> follow us Instagram, Facebook at Falls in the Hill Podcast, Twitter at Falls in the Hill Pod, YouTube Falls in the Hill. Where this video may be. Bye bye. Bye. And <laughs> Santa. Sounds well. <laughs> um, that seems like a fucking a bob on <laughs> angle. <laughs> and the guy from E. Yeah, that guy's still trying to talk about. How are you? Hello, welcome to the Hill Podcast with me, Liam Godfrey, on the mic. Oh, that's better. Uh, that's better. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's you don't need to clap, by the way, to your own. It happens every time. Shut up, Liam. <laughs> 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 oh, you've not even hit record. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it's not. <laughs>